Today we're going to discuss how to prepare for data center relocations and consolidations, as well as cloud and application migrations. We'll cover the challenges of these projects and the potential impact on application performance. Because while these initiatives offer significant benefits such as cost reduction and streamlined processes, many companies hesitate to undertake them due to concerns about negative effects. Moving servers during consolidation or relocation can result in various performance issues due to distance and latency. These include a significant increase in application response time, reduced productivity, decreased application scalability, and downtime or disruptions. In fact, up to 40% of applications will fail to meet service level objectives during or after a data center relocation. This is why it's crucial to test before undertaking a migration. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to a smoother data center relocation or migration using network emulation. A network emulator is a useful tool because it can emulate exact conditions that you expect in your new network. You can simulate any additional network impairments between clients and servers or between data centers, including latency, bandwidth constraints, packet loss, or even a temporary link failure. In four steps, I'll help you reduce risk, costs, and frustration by providing insight and predictability into the migration or consolidation process. Step one, identify applications that will experience performance degradation. We can simulate the new data center network environment by using a WAN emulator to introduce impairments between the users and application servers post-migration. Step two, investigate and remediate performance issues. By using a network emulator to isolate the specific conditions and bottlenecks impacting each application, you can remediate performance problems and validate solutions in the lab. Some solution examples could be code enhancements and or WAN accelerators. Step three, assess the impact on interdependent backend servers. Additional latency may be created between servers during the transitional stages of the move. By using network emulation to measure the impact of these server-to-server -server latencies, you can address them proactively. And step four, manage user expectations. Let users experience post-move application performance in advance and take steps to mitigate and address any issues. Use a WAN emulator throughout the process to mimic the expected conditions and test optimization strategies in real time. So let's walk through a few specific examples. During a data center relocation or consolidation, application servers are often moved to a new location. In this example, the current data center is averaging 30 milliseconds of latency, but migrating the application to a new location could add an additional 20 milliseconds of latency. It's a fallacy to equate network latency to application latency. The fact that 20 milliseconds are added to the network delay doesn't mean that the application's latency or response time will only increase by that amount. Because of the multiplying effect of network latency and impairments, the impact on application performance can be exponential. Some factors that include performance degradation include chattiness, the number of messages exchanged between the client and the server for each transaction, application location and distribution, server scalability, and processing power. All of these can cause transactions to take longer, resulting in the prolonged allocation of server resources which can significantly reduce performance. This is why it's a best practice to replicate your production environment in the lab and use a WAN emulator to simulate the expected conditions before and after the move. In this diagram, the network emulator is mimicking the network conditions of the old data center and the new data center. This way you can measure how changing network impairments will impact application and server performance and address any potential performance issues ahead of the move. Now let's cover a cloud migration example. In this example, applications are migrating from on-premise to the cloud. Cloud environments often have different network characteristics compared to on-premise networks. A network emulator can accurately replicate the network conditions of the target cloud environment. By emulating the specific network latency, bandwidth, packet loss, and other factors, it allows organizations to assess how their applications will perform in the cloud before the actual migration takes place. When planning a cloud migration, it's important to consider which provider and regions you want your application to run in, since each may have a different price, latency, or other impairments. With cloud migrations, 
A commonly used bad practice is to set up an application server in each region and just start testing, which is not necessarily cost effective, especially if you're comparing multiple providers. In this diagram, a network emulator is mimicking the network condition to a low cost provider and a high cost provider. This allows you to find the cheapest option that still meets your performance requirements. In summary, a network emulator plays a critical role in each step of any relocation or cloud migration process. It helps accurately simulate network conditions, identify performance bottlenecks, validate proposed solutions, assess the impact of server-to-server -server latency, and realistically evaluate post-move application performance. Using network emulators ensures that potential issues are identified early, solutions are tested effectively, and user expectations are managed. This ultimately increases the likeliness of a successful data center relocation or cloud migration. To learn more about how to prepare for a smooth data center relocation or cloud migration, visit the links in the description.